right, Joe, uh, what's your play when Georgia heads to Alabama? So you look at what the point spread was for this game in August. Georgia was minus three and a half. Now one month into the season, that number has dipped all the way to Georgia minus two. I think it's a good buy low spot on the Bulldogs. I would play Georgia here, okay? A lot of people are down on them after what they saw in that Kentucky game a couple weeks ago. Still won the football game, right? They have a dud on offense every single year. We saw it against Auburn last year. We saw it against Missouri two years ago, okay? But look at the strength of schedule. They waxed Clemson on a neutral field, and they did go to Kentucky and win a big game on the road. I know it didn't look pretty, but they still won it. Alabama's defense has yet to be tested this season. They're 3-0, but they've yet to be tested. I will take the battle-tested Bulldogs at what I feel is a discounted price. Give me Georgia. That is the worst take you have ever given on oh, this show. Please. We are talking about Alabama. I don't want to hear anything about everybody else clipsing and all of this other stuff. Kirby Smart 56-1 against everybody else, but against Alabama since 2020. Nick he's like Saban's one and not three. There anymore. Excuse me. Excuse me. They run into Alabama, and okay. it's a different beast. It's hey. a different animal. By the way, you talk about they tested. They go against Kentucky. What was Wisconsin? Chop liver compared to Kentucky is oh. what I'm saying. Hey. Excuse oh. me. Steve. I'm going oh, Alabama. Steve, just do your roll tide now because right. you might not be able to do what it on up, Monday. Up, if you want to get right. it out of your first system. Of all, first of all, get it out. back in. I see he's back in Seaport. He's got a little pep in his step. Where he he's belongs. Very I, this always I, I always have a pep in my step. I always have a pep in my step. About what Kirby Smart did against Saban. Saban is gone, and yeah, the exactly. Wisconsin offense is putrid. The starting yes. quarterback got oh. injured. Wisconsin offered nothing. You're watching. You watch your mouth. All right. You watch your mouth. Don't go with Joe Fort Ball on this one. Alabama. Oh, gosh. Take the two. Molly, yes. check your boy. Check your I boy. Know. I'm trying to control him, but obviously we can't do that. Uh, Coach Prime's buffs are coming off a thrilling win last week, but squaring off against UCF this week. What are we doing here? Blowout. Central Florida blowout. Not a whole lot that needs to be said here. Horrible okay. situation for Colorado. Hail Mary win last week. Fans storm the field. Everyone's excited. Everyone celebrates. Great job. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. But here's the thing. Now you're heading back out on the road. Third road game in four weeks for the Buffaloes. They're going to the heat and humidity of Central Florida, who, by the way, is coming off their bye week. This team can run. 336 yards per game on the ground. That's number two in college football. 6.1 yards per rushing attempt, number nine in college football. It is a bad stylistic matchup for the Buffaloes. It is a bad situational matchup for the Buffaloes. Okay. UCF is the play here. I agree with you, but 14? Yeah, 14. Ooh. I'm going to go against you on this one. I get that. I, I think that UCF is going to run the football effectively. They're going to put up a bunch of points. But I think Colorado is going to find a way to put up a bunch of points as well. I'm not saying they're going to win. But I think it's going to be closer than 40. I'm, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to go against you on this one too. All right. Let's go to the NFL, guys. One of the biggest matchups of the weekend, obviously the Bills taking on Lamar Jackson in the Ravens. Joe, what's the move? I'd like to get in on this action, make this one even more exciting. All right, all right, you tell me what you think because you've been running hot, unlike your counterpart there who told me Ouch. last week how bad Minnesota looked as a pick. And we all know how that one turned out, Stephen A. But that's last week. This is a new week. Yeah. We're going to reset the board here. I'm going to play the Baltimore Ravens. We're inside at three, the key number. I think this is a good buy low spot here, okay? Not even laying the full three points at home against an opponent who is coming off a Monday night game, short week, quick turnaround. Baltimore is this close from being 3-0. and the toe was out of bounds against Kansas City. They blew that game against the Raiders. If they're 3-0, and this spread is not 2.5. And, and, yes, Buffalo has looked very good. I heard you all talking about it a few minutes ago. They have played nobody. They played yep. Arizona. They played Miami. And they played Jacksonville. That's 2-7 and seven combined. They deserve credit for who they beat, but this is a step up in class. I'm taking the Ravens. I agree with you here. I agree with you here. I do agree with you there. I, listen, I think that uh, uh, the Ravens should be better. They're better than their record shows. I don't like how they've looked. I think there's some improvement that needs to be made. But I think with Josh Allen balling the way that he balled, it's going to have the Baltimore know. Ravens up on their toes. I think they I don't know, the fellas. this Sunday. And I, I you don't know, know I'm if it gets into a shootout. I don't know. I'm betting on Josh Allen. All right, Joe, I pride myself on being coachable, okay, and you're the expert. So I got another odds boost for tonight's Cowboys. 
Cowboys Giants game. And I'm rooting for, you heard it, the kickers. I've got both teams to make a field goal in each half. Head over to ESPN Bet to back it now. What are you playing for tonight's game? Uh, not a bad play right there. I like the pricing on that. And you know Aubrey's a weapon for Dallas from anywhere inside of 70 yards. So he's going to get the opportunities tonight. So let's take a shot there, Molly. I like that. Tonight's game is very simple. It is the Cowboys. We're laying the points. I like a minus the six. I think you could play some alts here. This is the get right spot for the Dallas Cowboys. I can tell you all about what you've been talking about all morning. 13 of 14 against the Giants. 11 of those have come by seven or more points, yada, yada, yada. Let's take a look at the matchup, though. Big problem for Dallas this year. They can't play from behind. The Saints blew them out, and then the Ravens blew them out. Guess what? The Giants aren't going to be blowing them out tonight. They're not going to be playing from behind. The Giants trailed for 48 minutes in that game against the Vikings. They lost. They trailed for half the game against the Commanders. They lost. They had a lead last week for most of the game against Cleveland, and they almost blew it late. All right, that secondary is problematic. Dallas jumps up on them early. Dallas covers the spread. I agree. Okay. I would hate to. I, I can't disagree with that. I can't disagree <laughs> with that. Right.